This is Dr. Kalpa Jyoti and Dr. Trishna and you're watching Hey guys, welcome back to White Coat Bees. I guess you already know the content of today's video. So watch this video till the end because today we are going to discuss a very interesting and healthy recipe in the end. Do you feel tired very often or while coming back from work? Do you also feel lightheadedness sometimes? Are you having shortness of breath or breathlessness? Do you feel dizzy when you get up from a bed or a chair? Is your skin the low part of your eyes and lips getting pale? Do your nail beds are losing its color or you have brittle nails? Are you having palpitation or faster heartbeats than usual? If you are suffering from all these signs and symptoms, then you are likely to have iron deficiency in your body. Does all the iron that you eat gets absorbed in your body? No. But here lies the twist. Food contains two types of iron. Heme iron is the one which you get by taking animal food and non-heme iron is one which you get by taking vegetables. So heme iron only 15 to 35 percent of it gets absorbed in your body and in case of non-heme iron very less amount of it gets absorbed in your body. So vegetarians have to take special care while taking their food. Number 1 Intake of Citrus Foods Citrus food contain vitamin C, particularly lemon, oranges, berries, mango, grapes, pomelo and many more. They particularly help in absorption of non-heme iron. So try to intake more citrus food in your diet. To if for example you are making a vegetable recipe then try to include tomatoes in it. Number 2 Avoid intake of tea or coffee. Because tea or coffee contains caffeine and caffeine hampers in the absorption of iron. And if you are trying to take tea or coffee then try taking at least 1-3 to three hours before taking any iron containing food. Now an interesting fact, beans and legumes contain phytic acid which decrease your iron absorption. But hey, don't you worry, if you soak them in water and they become sprouted, then this decrease your phytic content and helps in iron absorption. So yeah, soak it, that's the best way of having it. Cooking food in iron pans also helps in iron absorption. Foods containing vitamin A and beta carotenoids like carrot, beetroot, sweet potato, spinach and also food containing sulfuric acid like onion, garlic helps in iron absorption. If you are taking iron supplements, avoid intake of iron and calcium tablets together because they hamper in iron absorption if they are taken together. So here comes a very tasty recipe for the non-vegetarians. So these are the ingredients, marinated chicken, grated beetroot, potatoes and the spices. So add all the ingredients in a pan, fry them well, add the chicken and at the end add the grated beetroots and see the dish is ready. Vegetarians don't feel bad, we have a dish for you as well. We added dated beetroots, carrots, dates, almonds, pistachio, banana and few ice cubes in a grinder and grinded them well. And see, this is the final result. You can add pistachio for the garnishing. And see, the shake is ready. List of some iron containing food. French beans, sprouted mung beans, carrots, beetroot, banana flower, then comes dates, pomegranate, almonds, and few seeds like flax seed, pumpkin seed, chicken, fish, and seafoods, green leafy vegetables, mainly spinach, 
contains non-heme iron. According to Ayurveda, there are many pythias that is to be taken during iron deficiency. I have listed only a few. It's GK time. Let's now gain some knowledge. Here is a list of some daily iron requirement according to different age groups. You can pause the video and have a look. Hey guys, please, please, please subscribe to our channel because it's free and we make videos on health and lifestyle. So, so until we meet next time, stay tuned. Bye-bye.